When something is cursed, it is in the process of death. And when God's blessing stops with us, it dies. That's why when God called Abraham, he said, leave your family, your kindred, your people, the place that you don't know. He says, I will bless you. That is at least, that is to be expected, of course. He says, and you shall be a blessing. I'm going to bless you not so that you can heap it for yourself or accumulate for your own consumption, but I'm going to bless you so that you can serve my purpose to bless, bless others. What I'm going to give you, don't let it die, he says, but you've got to give it life by giving it away. Can I tell you that every child of God is to be a recipient, I believe, a recipient of God's blessings. But it's not just for you, but it's so that you can be a blessing to others. It's so that you can continue on because we, we were not designed to be hoarders. We were not designed to be like a, a dam on a river that will stop the water from flowing. But we were called to be conduits and channels. And we are living, we are saturated by a spirit in our world where the attitude is, what's in it for me? Where, what can I get out of it? And sometimes we can take that same consumer mentality in the church and we come to church and we come to the altar because I need something but sometimes every now and then we've got to change up our direction we've got to change up in our mentality and say God I've got enough you bless me with enough what can I do for you what can I give for your sake what can I give for your glory Come on, we're blessed to shine forth. It's for his glory. We are blessed to manifest the goodness and the blessings of God. He said, Abram, through you, all of the families of the earth will be blessed. It's not just for you to accumulate. Here's what Jesus said. Jesus said, a man's life does not consist of the abundance of things that he possesses. That's not, you don't make, a, we make a life, we make a living by what we go to do every day. We go to work every day and we make a living by that. But we make a life by what we give out, why we pour out. That's what a real life is all about. It's about giving out the blessings of God.